Okay, folks, here we are at Wayne's Feed, feed mill here on Gunnersville Lake. I've made a decision to try to dissect this bridge for these pre-spawn crappie today. Um, the water temperature is 51 degrees, or the surface temperature, rather. And uh, I'm going to be focusing on these bridge columns and things of that nature to uh, to catch a sockeye. Yes, sir. I'm going to idle on up here. Now, what I'm looking for when I approach a bridge, any bridge on Gunnersville, Weiss, Neely Henry, when I'm when I'm fishing in a vertical type way, I'm going to be vertical fishing today. Um, I'm focusing on the depth of shad. That's the only thing I'm worried about is how deep the shad are running. And uh, I study shad as much as I do the actual game fish, whether it's crappie or bass. And um, one day changes from the next. I've mentioned that in my other videos. So it's like starting over. And uh, we're just going to get in here and try to pick apart this cover and see if we can catch some of these big gunners will crappie. Let's see what we can do. There's our first crappie right here. The shad is running about nine foot deep right here, so these fish is probably shallower than what I anticipated. But there he is. The water clarity is pretty good right here on this bridge. He's about oh, 10 inches long. I'm going to keep a few of these fish to eat. Let's put a little water in the bucket here. All right, that's our first. We broke the ice right here. With this fish. Let's try again. That's why it's important to try different depths. Whoop. Fishing for crappie. Every day changes, but that fish wasn't very deep. There he is. Good crappie. Number two. Fish number two on Gunnersville Lake. Look at there, what a fish. Get another one, Elmer. Crappie number three. They're starting to pick up just a little bit about their biting but I, I found them right here on this brake line in about 18 feet of water and this is a good crappie pretty good fish there Elmer they're being a little bit difficult to catch today 
but let's lip him. Now there's that tender part of the mouth. Now if I would was to flip that fish there, he'd probably come off. It's a good gunnerful crappie. Pretty day out here today. Let's put him in the bucket. It's a little bit windy, but I've noticed that I'm having to precisely keep this jig on that brake line. They're not very active today, or this morning. It's uh, almost 9.30. They're being a little bit tough to catch. That's the nature of a crappie. But the fish are using the brake line right here on this bridge. Instead of using the columns, they're using the brake line. Let's see if we can catch another one. There he is. Crappie number four. Almer ain't here today again. He's missing it. Pretty fish. I believe we can flip this one. There we go. That's a good fish. It's not a slab, but it's a good eating fish. Elmer wanted me to bring him some, so I'm going to try to catch him a few today. They're a little bit hard to catch. I've done mention that. Let's put him in the bucket. I'm having to be very precise today. That happens a lot when you're crappie fishing. Got another one. Oh my goodness. Grown species, folks. This is a Louisiana. They call them a bar bass. Here in Alabama, we call them a yellow stripe. That's not what we're after. Here's another crappie. good one right here this is a oh he splashed water all over me this is a white crappie first one I've caught today and we're missing another good fishing trip that's about a 12 inch crappie and um, let's put him in the bucket here at Gunnersville Lake We got us another fish right here. Now these fish are suspended about 14 foot deep and I'm sitting over 28 foot of water folks here on Gunnersville Lake and I'm going to lip this crappie. I don't know how well he's hooked. There he is. There's another crappie suspended. That's about 11 inch crappie. That's a good eating size here on Gunners Lake. Okay, we got a school right here found. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. <laughs> he, he ain't with me today. Folks, I met these two fine gentlemen at, uh, at the boat ramp this morning. They're from Gadsden, Alabama. And uh, they watch your channel. They're crappie fishermen, too. And uh, what's y'all's name? What's your name? I'm Courtney. That's Donnie. Courtney and Donnie. Donnie. 
Gadsden, Alabama. They live there on the Coosa River, one of the best rivers in, in the state of Alabama. And uh, I'm proud to meet them. Proud to meet you too. Proud to meet y'all. There's y'all some crappie. Uh, five or six. I'm having a tough time. I got a school of fish. They're right in there. They're about 12 foot deep, suspended over about 28 foot of water. I might be able to catch a few more, but they're tough right now. They're scattered is what it is. But they'll probably group up this afternoon. Once it, heat, once it warm up a little bit. Yeah. Four or five more degrees and them fish will be on. I like y'all's boat. Appreciate it. I don't know, I had about since September I bought it. It's a nice one. Thank you. You well. Uh, I'm proud to meet y'all. I like you too. I do, I'm serious. I like to see people that fishes. Right. Sure. Everybody needs to do it. It's a stress reliever. That's right. I may not catch another fish. But now I want to to uh, shout out to my best buddy at work. His name is Buddy. Whoops. Wait just a second. Buddy. What, guess what? Why does everything have to be so difficult? Now Buddy, here's you a fish. Now I'm going to try again on my depth finder right here, I found a little structure here in 16 foot of water. Of about 16 foot of water. And I'm going to try again. Maybe there's a crappie, but there's a buddy fish. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for watching and subscribing. I appreciate everything in the comments and things that y'all made. And uh, remember, you know, go fishing when you can because it's good for you.